fanning themselves from the heat. Up to a thousand flying foxes call these trees home. Just saw them all flying through the trees and pretty awesome sight to see. Well, it's fascinating to watch. The colony is predominantly made up of the grey-headed, which are an endangered species. But at 38 degrees, these winged creatures become heat stressed. Today's forecast has shelter workers worried. The hotter they become, they start to what we call cluster or clump. So they form small, smaller clusters at first, and then those smaller clusters become big clumps of bats. This morning, before the mercury hit 40, there were already signs of stress. The next couple of days, we're really worried and we can't, I guess, predict how it's going to affect them. Over 40 have died in the last three weeks. Kirsty is coming daily to monitor them, using misters to cool them down. Young animals and older males, we find, seem to succumb more to the heat. If bats are in distress, residents are urged not to touch them. Use a mister to cool them down with tepid water and, if needed, call a shelter. We're very lucky to have them here. Um, they're a major pollinator of our bushland, so they're vital for our ecosystem and for our environment. Beth Excel, Wind News.